fun. It's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're returning. Thank you so much for coming back and uh, just hanging out with me. Letting me hang out with you in your home. Um, I Today is Monday, September 17th. And I have a couple things to show today. Um, it's been kind of a crazy weekend. I didn't get the stitching done that I had planned on. On Saturday, I planned on stitching on Patriotic Sampler all day. And instead, for the first half of the day, I helped my husband flush out our radiator system. We And the parts, we did it separately. The heater core, we flushed out separately. The engine block, we flushed out separately. The radiator. Um, it, it's just been a mess with that radiator. Um, anyway, he got a new radiator in today. So I'm doing a quick video now because now we're going to go replace the radiator. Fun times. I'm telling you, I'm over this heat. It's like 109, 110, and we're doing this auto work, and I'm over it. I'm done. Uh, but we're not going to get any um, relief until mid-October. So, yeah, that's fun times. Um, video quality is a little bad because also over the weekend, I, I was editing my last video together. You may have noticed it went up a week late. Uh, a week, a day late. Um, I was editing all the video. I got up to do something, tripped over the the power cord, which ripped. It just, uh, it, it, I ruined the charger port on my little Asus um, tablet netbook thing. Uh, so we spent a large part of the rest of Saturday night, a lot of Sunday, trying to see if we can fix it. My husband is really a jack of all trades. He can do a lot of things, but he looked at that and just said, no, I, I don't want to mess with the motherboard. I don't want to mess with having to resolder. I can't really see where it's connected, so we're going to have to send it out. So we found someone online that was reputable that's going to fix it for like 40 bucks. Uh, and that includes shipping back to me. I can't even believe it. So I sent that off today, so my videos are going to be on my camera for now. So I don't know what audio is going to be like. The, Of course, my eyes are going to turn brown again, um, even though they're blue. <laughs> um, colors are going to be off, but you know what? Colors are always tend to be off in my videos anyway, so whatever. Um, so if I'm talking loud, if it sounds like I'm yelling at you, it's because I am talking loud and I'm yelling, <laughs> but at the camera. Um, so yeah, my daughter had homecoming. I helped her get ready for that Saturday. It's just a whole weekend full of busy life. Life got in the way of my stitching plans. Um, so on Sunday, I was supposed to be working on cottage garden samplings, but I really wanted to get some work in on Patriotic Sampler. So I did. Um, oh, please. I just realized a few things I had for the video I'd set far away from me. Okay, so this is what Patriotic Sampler looks like. And I had finished all the way down to this heart here and the words on this side. So I started on this huge motif here, which is, they call it, um, and I don't know if I ever say it right, but it's a Milanese stitch. And um, satin Milanese stitches, essentially. And I got them all done last night. I'm trying to see what you see. So, yeah, I think that looks great. This whole big thing, I got stitched in probably, I don't know, maybe when I started, maybe three hours. I was really pleased to get that huge motif done. In the centers will be buttons that I have. I just haven't put them in yet. So, yeah, really happy with that amount of progress. Um, and looking forward to next Saturday stitching when hopefully I can get a lot more work done. I said I was hoping to get it done in two Saturdays. That's not going to happen. And I may even decide to just work on this over the weekend, get this finished, and then the next weekend just work on cottage garden samplings and, and try to get that finished. I really want to try to get two of these of these um, stitch alongs done so that I have room for the, the, the one I just added, Hannah Sanderson 1849. That's a stitch along with Kyle Reckemeyer, uh, stitching in sound. And then the brand new one that's coming up on September 23rd that Seashell Stitches is hosting uh, Blackbird Designs Away We Ride. And I just found out that um, um, 
Steph, she's going to do that one too. A lot of people are actually. Um, Steph of Pam and Steph, uh, someone else. I saw a few other people that were going to start it and I, I forgot now. But hashtag BBD, uh, Away We Ride 2018 Sal. I think I said that right. Okay, before I forget, I was supposed to say this in the last video. Um, you know the... Uh, I don't I don't have it in here, but you know the letters from Mom Sal I've been talking about, right? All these. The next three charts are releasing soon, and uh, Julie of Gulf, Gulf Coast Stitches has ordered several. Um, and she is... For all those who sign up with her for the next three charts, she's offering free shipping. I, I know there was a sign up in her group, um, Gulf Coast Stitches on Facebook. Um, so you can join her group. Um, and if you do, you get a heads up on all sorts of deals, specials, everything that she's running. Um, sign up for her floss clubs, everything you can do in that group. But if you don't want to join the Facebook group or you're not on Facebook, on her website, or on Instagram, just send her a message and let her know. So yeah, letters from mom, the next three charts are coming out and all the charts come with the cottage garden threads. Um, yeah, the floss. So it's, the, and it, it's one of the threads that you need in it, but each chart comes with the cottage garden threads that's called for in that particular chart. Um, and uh, let her know you get free shipping with all three charts. That's awesome. Um, okay, so I just showed you what I worked on. Oh, I did forget to show you last week. Um, Callie had had a dentist appointment, and I showed you a little bit of progress I made on that. What do I keep doing with my hair? Talking to myself. Um, but then she also had an eye doctor last week, and so I made a little bit more progress. Um, I think I had gotten... Um, through some of the the third window um, halfway done so I finished that and started this one um, and so yeah I'm just slowly working on that this is the bottom row of windows so it's going to be a window a window and then a door so just plugging away on that little house little progress every time I go out to an appointment or have some travel stitching this is the one I do and just as a reminder that's oops what it looks like finished free and brave by the drawn thread uh, I did get a purchase in today. Uh, I pre-ordered this from Amy of Down Sunshine Lane, and it's put on the hat by Hands On Design. Yeah, when I saw that, you know I had to order that. That witch hat, the, yeah, the bats, the cat, I love everything about it. It does come with the purple velvet. Now, Hands On Design works with just another button company to come up with buttons that go on it there or there you can you can make the drum or the pillow I didn't buy the buttons because I had previously ordered from um, what is it Puntini Puntini when she went to market she showed on her Instagram these buttons and so I was like hello I need to I need to use these buttons or not buttons counting pins but she made buttons with them too but these are just the counting pins so yeah these are going to be perfect I don't know if that's focusing in right or not but over here this is a cauldron a ghost a bat a pumpkin a witch hat and candy corn yeah love those that's going to work out great um, so I'm going to stitch that and when I, when I do stitch it, I already have counting pins ready to stick in it and I may do the drum. I think I might, I don't know, drum or the pillow. I haven't decided. Okay. Last thing is I had a huge stitchy kindness come in this today. Um, you may have remembered from a video or two ago, I had been wanting to get one of the Halloween fairy doors badly. And every time I get on Etsy, I would either be able to, when I refresh the page on my phone, what happens is however many listings they have, she has, they come up all as her stickers. I could tap on any random one. I know because I've done it. 
and it comes up as the sticker. It'll have 28 of her stickers. Rather than refreshing and showing me the actual new clay items in her shop. It's very, very frustrating. So I went over to my computer for the doors to use the computer. And so I would try to refresh and sometimes it still does the sticker thing on the computer, but, or it, it won't show all the listings and I'll ask it. Um, I really wanted to get one of the fairy doors that had like the skeleton hand. Um, there was a tombstone completely missed out on that. So any of the other doors, I tried to get the one with the spider, didn't get that one. So I had been talking to Kyle because he was having the same trouble. He finally got his death head moth dragon needle minder. So excited that he finally got that. Um, I, anyway, he knew I was struggling and he asked me, uh, I was on the Thursday day. So I went Thursday in the morning, didn't get the listing because I got it into my cart computer did not when I hit um, you know pay with your credit card didn't go through same as one of the times before so I tell him I'll, I'll just try to see if I can get one tonight so five o'clock I try to get one can't totally frustrated cannot even see that there are fairy doors and finally when I refresh the page to get to the fairy door click on one it's gone and then by then all the others are gone too so I was really frustrated and when I get frustrated, I cry. I mean, who, who should be crying over these fairy doors and needle minders? No one. But I was so frustrated. I had tears in my eyes and I'm like, woman, this is just stupid. It's just not meant to be. Calm down. So Kyle messages me right after I give myself the, are you kidding me right now? You have tears in your eyes over a fairy door talk. And he says, Hey, did you happen to get one? And I said, no, I, I had trouble. It's just not meant to be. And I believe that. If it's meant to be, you'll get, you'll get it. If it's not meant to be, you won't. And so he messages me a picture and he says, well, it's a good thing I got it for you. And he did. I can't even with how amazing this fairy door is. Can you even? It's a bat wing right here. When I noticed later, I didn't notice until later because he sent me the picture and then I really looked at it and saw the bat wing. I was like, oh my gosh, I love, love bats for Halloween. Can you see how amazing that is? This tombstone with the skull and crossbones, these purple, the fairies, the little dragon scale. Oh, I cannot even, I'm trying to just, and I'm telling you, Kim's pictures, they do not do her doors justice. I mean, there's just an iridescence around the whole door, the whole thing. It is stunning in real life. Um, someone asked me what this was after I posted I got a fairy door. I don't know how to explain it other than it's a fairy door. And you put it on your on top of your baseboard or if you have kids, you put it up high. It's going right up here on my wall where I can see it. It's not going to be down low because no. It's going to be up where I can see it and you guys get to see it wherever I have a video, whenever I have a video. But, Kyle, thank you. There are no words enough to say thank you enough for how wonderful this is. He, um, he had t typed up, um, must have typed up in the comments box a note for me. And so Kim printed it out and she used some really cute decorative scissors, made it look really nice. Um, and just those words mean everything to me, Kyle. Thank you so much. And if you have not seen his videos, please go check him out. He is so fun. He stitches amazing things. I absolutely love him. Absolutely love you, Kyle. You are amazing. And not just because you got the fairy door for me. I just adore you. Um, and I've told Kyle that 5,000 times. He's probably going to be sick of hearing me say it. But I just, I can't, I can't. Kyle, I just adore you. So that's my update for today. This is on my phone. I already said that. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how how many times I'm going to be able to update this week. It's kind of harder doing it on my phone, but we'll see. I'll try to do it as best I can. And if I shook the camera, I just realized that my table was touching the tripod. So I'm really sorry if it shook. I'm not going to re-record it. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hi, everyone. Today is Wednesday, September 19th, I think. 
I forgot to check the date and my days have been crazy. Anyway, um, I have some stitching to show for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I have a package that I received in the mail today, uh, so I want to talk about those. But first, I have a very special friend in France. Her name is Celine. Bonjour, Celine. Um, and she has a lovely daughter who just started school. I think she just started school. Anyway, um, I've had some lovely chats with Celine, and um, I... Her daughter, Zoe, I, I don't know if I said that right. I hope so. I'm so sorry if I'm getting the pronunciation wrong. Anyway, she's so sweet. Um, she drew me a picture the other day and told her parents that she wanted to walk out of the house to give it to me. Um, so, uh, obviously, you can't walk down the road um, from France to Arizona. Um, but her mom sent me a picture. So I wanted to thank Zoe for her picture, um, and I wanted to thank her in French because she doesn't understand what I'm saying in English, and I'm so bad at French, but I have been practicing and practicing, so I'm going to attempt this. So Celine, if I say it wrong, please tell Zoe I'm sorry, um, and I, I, I just tried. I'm just trying. So, bonjour Zoe, um, takes me a minute, merci beaucoup pour le dessin, c'est beau, j'aime ça. So I think I just told Zoe that uh, first, hello, and then second, thank you for the drawing, it's beautiful and I love it, and I do, it was very, very sweet. Um, so. By the time Zoe watches this, she may be headed off to bed. So I will say now, au revoir, Zoe. Um, and I hope I did that okay. I, I really enjoy um, Celine. I enjoy your messages. I enjoy the pictures you send. And I hope I did that okay. Um, side note for everyone else, um, I actually did sign up for French uh, on Babbel, the app. So I just need to start doing my lessons. Um, but it's hard because Brad's always around and he'd be like, why are you trying to learn French? And I'd be just be like, because I like it. I want to learn it. It's a pretty language. Anyway, so um, having said that, let's go through my stitching that I did. Now, Monday, I was supposed to work on letters for mom. I was tired by the time stitching time came around um, and I did not do it at all. But Tuesday was really hot out, and my husband and I just sort of stayed in the house. We're over the heat. I know I've said that, but truly, we're done. Um, we just have stuff to do, and we can't get to it. But So I worked on Tuesday morning a little bit on letters from Mom, and so that was it. All I did was add this motif. Let's see if that's better. Uh, and I liked it. I, it took me like two and a half hours, I think, to add that in there. So I was really happy that on Tuesday I had some time to do the work I would have done on Monday so that I, I'm not like just ignoring that piece. Um, that would have been, if I hadn't worked on it this week, it would have been two weeks in a row I didn't do anything on that. Uh, the next one I worked on was the Tis the Season on Tuesday night. Um, we went out for Tuesday's date night, so we went out to Mexican, um, and then when we came home, I started working on Tis the Season. I think I just know to do all this stuff by now. Put something behind it, but nope. So, I got quite a bit of work done, because the last I had done, I had done, filled in this wing, and there was just like, just this much of the bottom of the bird that came around and went out. So I added all of this. I have just a little bit more tail to add in here. Um, and then the bird's done. And then I just get to focus on the border and, um, and the words. Um, this white snowflake, you can barely see uh, at all. Like when you hold it back, it doesn't stand out. So I'm going to pick a different white, probably more of an off-white, maybe an ivory, so that'll stand out. I'm going to rip that out and do it over. Okay, as far as mail, um, Carissa's Life on Instagram has a, a D-stash. 
page on Instagram too. And I think that's just Carissa's life de stash. Anyway, she uh, did a de stash last week. She still has lots of stuff. So I'm going to link her de stash um, or just go to this on Instagram and you'll see what she has left. Uh, but I, she's in Canada, but because of the dollar conversion, um, basically I, the conversion amount paid for the shipping to the U.S. I bought, well, you'll see what I bought. She charged me 12 bucks and the, because the Canadian dollar is less than the U.S. dollar, it paid for my shipping. And all of this was like 50 bucks. For everything I'm going to show you, I paid 50 bucks. Okay, so the first thing I got was a beautiful dream. It's a great Christmas chart from Sarah, um, I don't know how to say this, Guermani, an Italian designer. I love that Christmas scene. And it came with an 18 by 27 piece of Petite Point. I know some people don't like that, but I haven't stitched with it yet, so I, haven't, I don't have an opinion on that. Um, the next one was Witches in the Air. And I love this piece. That's going to be a fun one to stitch. Now this one has been on my wish list for a while. Raven Queen. I saw someone stitch this. Um, it's in the Jill Rensel. I didn't see them stitch it. That was a ridiculous thing to say. But in the Jill Rensel Facebook group, someone had stitched this on a gorgeous fabric. And like the half part was... I can't remember. There were two different colors, like a darker purple or, and then the top was, uh, it was an ombre fabric and it was beautiful. Um, and she had done it to where the wall just went right on where the, the colors changed and it was gorgeous. Um, and it, I know it was a color cascades fabric. I want to say into the deep, but I'm not sure that that's right. Anyway, I might try to see if I can find that fabric because hers looked gorgeous on that. Um, another chart I wanted for a while, Birds of the Feather, Remember Me. Birds of a Feather. I think I said the feather. But yeah, I love this one. Love him. Now, could you see me stitching him and putting him in that box? This one? Oh, George and Irene. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Amy. George and Irene are just fine. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a ribbon on this one and on my Ahoy pillow. And I'm going to put them right up there so they can hang on the wall. And then I'm not knocking them over. Okay. Him and this. Yeah. I think that'd be awesome. Oh, poor George. Okay. So, I and the last chart I got, five charts, 50 bucks. Pink circles, little alien schoolgirl. Could you just die? I love this one. My favorite part, amygdala. Amy G. Dala. Da, well, I don't know how they'd say it, but I know what amygdala is, and I love this. Um, yeah, this is just the best chart. I love everything about it, so I cannot wait to get to stitching this. Obviously not right now. Now, here's the thing. I've had Two people in the same day, coincidentally, uh, one was Tina. Hi, Tina. Um, she asked me, with all my sales, I need to work in my Chatelaine. And she's right, I do. Um, and someone else had said, I just ran across your channel a couple days ago. I saw your Chatelaine unboxing in your organization, but I, I haven't seen an update. Um, and, and I thought, you know what? I've really got to find a way to work in my Chatelaine. But right now... As of the 23rd on Sunday, I will have nine stitch alongs going. So I'm changing my plans, y'all. I have to get three of them finished as soon as possible. Uh, one I know that I can do is Tis the Season. The other one I don't have it in here is the Peace on Earth Cottage Garden Samplings. And there was a third one I looked at and thought I can get that done fairly quickly. Patriotic sampler. Uh, so, new plan. I am going to work on one of them per week until I get all three done. Uh, I will on Sunday. I'm hitting that camera again. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, on Sunday, 
I will be doing the, the Away We Ride, that new start. And I'm such a goofball. I did not realize, because I was behind on videos, that Steph is hosting the Away We Ride Stitch Along. Steph of Pam and Steph Just Keep Stitching with Shell of Seashell Stitches. Um, and they're doing it together. Now, um, I noticed um, Shell is using one hashtag and um, Steph has another one. So I'm going to put them both. I'm going to shrink. Both of them are up here. I don't know which one's exactly the right one, so I'm using both on mine. So, okay, so I'm going to start that on Sunday. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on Patriotic Sampler for the rest of this week. I want to try to get that done by Sunday. Um, well, Saturday. Sunday's going to be a way we ride. The next week, I want to focus on Cottage Garden Samplings. And then the week after, I'm going to focus on this one, Tis the Season. So, the next three weeks, I'm going to do one project per week, and I'm just going to focus on that. When those three are done, then I will only have six stitch-alongs that I'll be working on. So, the seventh day of the week, whichever day that is, I will be fitting in my Chatelaine. And I'm going to pause the video just so I can quickly show you where I am on that now. Okay, I um, rolled this, my Chatelaine up before we left for summer, and it's been in there ever since. It's been rolled up since. Um, I've only got a tiny bit done, but this is it. This is all I've gotten done on this big piece of fabric. This is how big my fabric is, y'all. It's huge. What size is this? 32 inches square. And that, that is all I've gotten done, excuse me, while I roll it up. And that's it. Uh, just a reminder, this is Poison Garden uh, from Sh Chatelaine. So yeah, I need to, uh, Tina, you're absolutely right. I've got to work this back into my rotation. So that's the plan, y'all. We'll see how well I stick to it. I can't seem to stick to anything. Like I tell you what my plans are and then I jack them up. Uh, but... <laughs> new plan let's go with it right I mean that's what we're about okay this segment was way longer than I expected so I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow and let you know what my progress was I forgot what I just said I'm going to focus on this week patriotic sampler so hopefully I will have some good progress to show on that tomorrow talk to you later bye au revoir Hi everyone, today is Thursday, September 20th. Um, I'm filming in my living room, basically because it's really humid outside and I spent all morning out there and I, I don't want to go out there again. And I just have a quick video um, update today anyway. I just wanted to show the progress that I made on Patriotic Sampler last night. So, this is the chart and this is the progress I made. Um, I worked, I added, let's see, what did I do last night? I added this star motif, this heart, the flag, and I went ahead and added my initials and the date, and then I added this little pinwheel motif. So all I have left to do is, it's upside down as per usual, is this little flag motif here, the stripes here, and then finish off the border. And then after that, I'll be adding charms. There's a lot of little charms. There's buttons in here. Here's an eagle charm. Um, more buttons here and here. I know there's another charm in there. I'm just not seeing it right now. Um, oh, right here, this flag. So yeah, as soon as I'm done with that, I'll add all the charms and this will be done. I have a frame I think that will work, but I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, and so that's it. I had a lot of stitchy time yesterday. Um, my husband and I were supposed to finish up installing his radiator in his truck, put in a new thermostat, and make sure, uh, you know, test it, run it, make sure all the connections were tight, the hoses were tight. And it, it just got really humid yesterday. Um, you may have seen Phoenix had a huge monsoon go through. Uh, we just get humidity, a lot of it. Um, rarely will the rains come, but when they do, they really come, but typically we don't get too much of that. We're actually have kind of a ring of mountains around us, so the weather always seems to go around us, which I'm not complaining about. 
Uh, but we got up early this morning and it just was such a humid day. Um, if you can see, my Sleepy Hollow is right there. I probably can't see it very well. Um, I bring that up because I was going to enter that into the Arizona State Fair. And yesterday I thought, oh crap, I know that's coming up. I need to see when deadlines in are to, when the deadlines are to submit my pieces and registration. Six days ago, six days ago now, five days ago yesterday as of when I checked. So yeah, I missed it. So upset. But Arizona State Fair lets you put pieces in that you've worked on in the last two years. And I finished that in 2017. Uh, so I'm going to enter it because the date on it says 2017. Next year's 2019. I think I'll be fine. So next year I'll be entering that. And I should be getting my Christmas Village back from Jill Rental sometime soon. Uh, so I'll probably enter that next year. Everything, I'm just going to enter it next year and make a note to put in my calendar uh, mid-August to check when the dates are. And I'm sure McKenna has talked about this in her video, but I'm behind on videos. And if I wouldn't get behind, I'm sure McKenna would have been like, um, hey, if you're going to enter the fair, you got to get your pieces in. So I screwed up. Oh, well. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. Plans, keep on keeping on on this one. Um, tomorrow, I hope to have all of that done and at least half of that done. Um, maybe I can get a lot of stitching time in today. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, everyone. Today's Saturday, September 22nd, and I'm going to wrap up this week's video series. Um, I ended up getting as far as always putting my cards back or putting them somewhere else. Okay, I was working on Patriotic Sampler, hoping to finish it by tonight. Not going to happen. I got this far, got all of the motifs done, and rolled it up. I just realized I rolled it up, <laughs> so I can't show you. Um, I will insert a picture of my um, of where I got the whole section I worked on since I last rolled it up. I'll insert a picture of that here. I did a lot. Um, this is the bottom of the that big star um, flower motif. Here's the pinwheels. Um, the other day I added this flag um, row uh, on, I did that on Thursday, and I added the stripes, and I did get them all done that day. I didn't stitch last night. I've started to feel pretty, pretty yucky, um, so I just rested, and I've not been feeling real great today either. Um, plans for this coming week. Now, tomorrow is the start of Away We Ride, um, the Blackbird Design, by Blackbird Designs. That's a stitch along that Steph of Just Keep Stitching and Shell of Seashell Stitches, they, they're hosting. Um, now, Stony Creek has not sent out my floss yet. However, uh, a lot of you, thank you very much, sent me private messages and said, hey, check out this store, um, check out, you know, my local needle workshop. Don't forget, give them a call. In the meantime, while I'm getting all of these really helpful messages, shops I hadn't even thought of calling, I get a message, a text message from our very own Julie of Gulf Coast Stitches. And she's like, hey, how many skeins of those do you need? And I'm like, oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll just start in the middle of the house. Um, if I need to. And she's like, don't, no, it's, I'm going to do it. So just let me know how many skeins you, it called for. So I told her three. So yesterday in the mail, I got three skeins of the floss I needed, Garden Gate. Um, my lighting is different because I didn't set everything up today. So sorry about that. Like I said, I'm not feeling good, but Julie saved my bacon. So tomorrow when I start the stitch along, I have the floss I need. Um, and she sent me a fantastic card. Oh, I don't have the envelope. She sent it with a Scooby-Doo stamp on it. How can you not love that? I need to find where I put the envelope. I wanted to show you that. Anyway, she sent me a great little card. And so, Julie, thank you so much. So when my Stony Creek floss gets here, I'm going to send that on to her. She just was 
saving me in the meantime so I don't have to wait forever because we don't even know how long it's going to be before. I don't have a clue how long it's going to be before Stony Creek gets the floss in. Obviously, they didn't have it in stock or I would have had a shipped notice by today. Um, also, I received, I placed an order with Julie. Um, right as she's doing that, I'm, I had seen her video and knew I wanted to order a Blackbird Designs chart. And I said, okay, I'm going to do that right now so you can just throw that floss in with that. And she's like, nope, already addressed it, stamped it, it's done deal. Uh, but I still had stuff I wanted to get. So, hold please. Okay. So... What Julie had shown on her video was this Blackbird Designs chart. It is um, Justice for All. Really, really loved it. Um, I, Of course, I had to have it. It's a patriotic sampler, right? So, uh, yeah, got that. Um, and then while I was there, I got a couple charts that I have been eyeing for a while. Now, uh, if you haven't been to Julie's shop in a while, she has all, if most, if not all, of the fancy blackett charts um, from Pineberry Lane. And this is one of my favorite, and you'll know why when you see the squirrels. Look at those squirrels. This is Fancy Blackett, The Harvest Dance. I love this one. Um, there's quite a few of the fancy blackets I love, and I'll just have to get them over time, but had to get that. So yeah, go check out her shop because she's got a lot of the fancy blackets. And then the other one that's been on my wish list for probably forever is Jenny Bean's Halloween Sampler by Shakespeare's Peddler. By Teresa Kitten Stitcher. Love this one. So those are my chart acquisitions. Stash acquisitions as some people will say. Um, now I'm going to close this with... Um, a true confessions. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos this year, you know I have been shopping like a mad woman. Like, I'm shopping like I'm never going to see these charts again. And uh, I've been watching several videos, Michelle Bendy's one, and a lot of people talking about there's just so much stuff. I have so much stuff, and it's... I'm starting to get overwhelmed by it. I want to stitch all the things. I want to do all the things, all the salves. You know that. You've been watching me for the last month. Just add more and more and more onto my plate. Part of me not feeling good is I'm starting to feel really, really stressed. <laughs> I, I think I have made some... I think. Pfft. Own it, Christine. I know I have made a lot of purchases simply based on the excitement of seeing a, a new chart, seeing someone else do it, and I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. So I have been going through my charts today, through all my kits over here, and I've pulled out charts and things and asked myself, am I really going to stitch this? There are so many, many, many that I love, but I'm asking myself, girl, really, are you going to stitch this? And my honest answer is no, I'm just collecting it. And right now, I can't afford to be a collector of all of these charts. So, I am going to have a huge de-stash. My question to you is, would, would, I was thinking of just putting it all either on stash unload or cross-stitching only stash unload, whatever that group is. Um, or do you guys, would you guys like to see me just put all my charts on, uh, I have a de-stash account. On Instagram I think it's stitch all the things D stash I'll put it below um, or would you be interested in me just putting it on Instagram I mean already I've got I'm probably at 55 charts uh, of things that I'm gonna put in I haven't even started going through my fabrics yet and I haven't even gone through half my charts yet but um, yeah I got lots of stuff I'm gonna put up my point is please just let me know what what you would prefer if you think you would um, if you think I should just put it on Instagram D Sash where everyone can see it or if I should put it in one of those groups. I may put it in one of those groups. I don't know what's best, what's easiest, but I do know that I feel a huge weight with all of the stuff I've I've gotten. I even I mean I just got those D Stash charts in the other day from Canada and I'm looking at some of them like what were you thinking when you claimed that? Why why did you claim that? And they were amazing prices. And that's why. But 
I'm not going to stitch some of those things. So some of those things that I just bought may end up being in my D stash. Please don't judge me harshly. I just, I, I do this at times and, um, yeah, that's just my honest moment with you. True confessions. I should edit a lot of that out, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope next week is wonderful for you. If you have any thoughts or opinions on the d stashery, if you don't care, that's okay. Um, I, I don't mind. <laughs> you don't have to care. Um, I, uh, I think I'll just wrap it up because I'm not thinking well or I probably am just being rambly. So have a, a wonderful week, you guys, and I will see you next time. In the meantime, stitch all the things, right? <laughs> For me, I'm stitching all the things I've started, and it's a lot. It's going to take me two years to stitch through everything I've just started. At least two years. Probably more like three. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye!